Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully created two of this page as a ascent dashboard, another is our admin dashboard and also by default that have one of the user dashboard, right? Like right now, if you also want to log in, I copy it and then if you log in with the user, like I want to log in with the user at the rate gmail.com, sorry, gmail, gmail.com and then password 111 now logged in now you can see you are successfully logging now that is a dashboard for the user right so i want to do when you logging with the admin then that will be returned direct to our admin dashboard rather than that will be as a sn dashboard and for the user that will be only the dashboard so all that that is actually the default things right here if you want to find out all the default route you can also get it like if you go to the our cmd and if you write down as a php artisan and then route list okay all the route list now that should be display in here you can see that is actually laravel all the default route so now in particular route area here simply if you go like right now you can see that is the logging and logging is working behind which part that is our auth and in our auth folder that is a authenticated session controller create method so that is the responsible for the logging and when we will be stored this data that means successfully logging that will be work in our store method okay so that is also in our auth and authenticated session controller so i want to do when a user will be logging right so here we have to actually now work in our logging area because where here from to this position when you put that uh, email id as a user email address and password then that will be returned direct to our dashboard and uh, rather than when you access that admin email address and password then that will be returned direct to the admin dashboard right so for the reasons here first of all we have to find out this file so this file is in here that means in our app http and here you can see that is one of the default folder when you install that laravel breeze that is actually by default created as the auth folder and into the auth folder here that is our authenticated session controller you can see that is our authenticated session controller so into the authenticated session controller that is our store okay so into the store method area here when that will be as a authenticated it should be then return data direct to the intent as a route service provider as a home okay route service provider home means here that is one of the route service provider that means if you go um, if you go to that right now in our http that is a default midi lawyer and also here i want to do there is a providers into the providers area you can see there is a route service provider so into the route service provider if you go in you can see that is the our home home means it should be written redirect to the our dashboard slash dashboard right that is one of the public constant variable as a home and home will be written redirect to the slash dashboard so that means right now that is will be returned directly to the intent as a route service provider as a home so that will be actually our home in our route service provider it will be returned directly to the dashboard so for the reasons here when you successfully logging by default that is returned directly to the dashboard right here if you logging with the user at the rate gmail.com and then password and now if you click as a successful login then you can see it's now returned direct to the slash dashboard so here now that means we have to work right in our authenticated session controller that is one of the storage method here now we have to work so if you want to do this work we have to do that will be very simple now by the rule we have to actually segment it that means here that is our role on the field when this role will be as an admin i want to simply return redirect to our another page when that will be as an agent i want to return redirect to the another page and also for the user like i show you in that case we have to do after that okay after that i want to better take one of the empty variable i name it as url okay that will be the url and for the first time i want to make it as a empty great and after that i want to put on the if condition so that is our if condition and into the if condition area here i want to do i want to take like as a request okay i take one of the request and requested which field that i want to access requested user 
right requested user now by this requested user here you can see it's already get that our all that request that is a logging request logging request means here also that is comes from here in particular they have also one of the request you can see that is a request folder and into the request folder there is a auth and that is actually the logging request so into the logging request area here you can see that is an email that is also the password so if by default everything is ready made in particular that area so now from to this area it's passing that our logging request and that is actually our requested data so now by this i want to do that is our request and by this request i want to access that our user and we with this user i want to access our user table field name as a role okay i want to access it so here by this user i want to do i want to access that role great and when this role will be as equal 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 our string value string value here i have already added our role should be as a admin rather than as an other than that will be as a user right when that will be as a admin and that is one of the string value i want to add so that will be as a admin okay when that will be as a admin then i want to do okay then here i want to pass take another variable as a url so that is our url variable and here then that will be pass our page that i have already created if you go to our um, that is uh, not needed i want to go so that is the reason i'm actually um, prefer to use that sublink text editor here you can see it's um, not get all that is skin mm, right now if you go to that tower right now we also don't need it that is a web.php okay so that is a web.php and here you can see i have already created that as a admin dashboard and rather than that is a slash as in dashboard so i want to do to copy it i want to pass that url in here that means url will be as a admin slash dashboard that means when our role will be as a admin it should be written redirect to the admin dashboard great so that will be actually our first condition okay and then also i want to do another one as else the else if okay i want to use it as else if else if will be the same condition when our requested url okay better i copy it and here i passed it so now that is a requested user role when that will be as a agent okay when that will be as a agent then i want to do i want to pass our another url our url will be changed then our url will be as a as a dashboard okay i copy it now that will be as a as a dashboard okay great and else if okay else if else if i want to do another one that will be for the user so this condition will be the same i copy it and request requested user role when that will be equal equal as a user okay when that will be as a user then only it should be written redirect to the dashboard okay after that then our url will be only the slash dashboard great great so friend that's all you have to do in here okay so now that is a by default i make it as empty here which will be check our role when that will be the admin it will be returned direct to the admin dashboard when that will be the agent that will be returned direct to the agent dashboard rather than user user will be simply dashboard great so now we have to do we have to pass it in our intended method here right now we don't need to pass that provider only home because only home it should be written redirect to our specific slash dashboard right right now that is totally dynamic now i want to pass this variable as a url here i want to pass it as a url okay friend i hope everything every part is very very much clear to you now let's check this out it's working or not if you know click as a save all okay i click as a save all and now if you go let's check this out i want to better right now log out from area from to this area now click as a refresh okay right now locking again i'm on to locking with the user as a user at the rate gmail.com password 111 logged in hmm perfect you can see it's now successfully returned it direct to our slash dashboard because it will be a check our request when our requested role will be as a user it should be returned direct to the slash dashboard that means that is totally fine and now i want to check our admin if you know click as a logout and now i want to logging with the admin admin at the rate gmail.com and password 111 now logged in 
Yes, you can see now it's perfectly written direct to our admin dashboard that I have already created before. Right now here, it should be check our role when that will be as an admin, it should be written direct to our admin dashboard. And when that will be as an agent, it should be written direct to our agent dashboard. Like I also want to check it right now from here. I want to again go to that our dashboard. Right now you can see that the admin is logging successfully because agent, admin, user, everyone as a user, right? Only we have to do, we have to protect all that our URL. I will also cover it. Like right now I want to log out. I want to log in with the agent right now. Agent at the rate gmail.com and password. Click as enter. Yes, you can see it's now successfully written redirect to our agent dashboard. Okay, great. So here, all that our condition is now successfully working. Now we have to do, we have to protect it. That means when a user will be logging, user will be not able to access that agent dashboard and user will be not able to access that uh, admin dashboard. Also, agent will, when agent will be logging, agent will be not able to access that admin dashboard right here now we have to do we have to protect all that our url so if we can able to protect it that's all we have to do right so how to do this work in our next video i want to show you that things with the live example so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video